Hi guys and welcome back to day four of Vlogmas. So today it's one that I've kind of debated doing this video, it's Boo's Present Haul. Um, and I want to get it out there that this isn't a brag or look what I've got her. Um, it's literally, I've had lots of questions of what are you getting Boo? Not just you know from the blog but like other parents and I just thought a great way of sh like showing what I've got um, and like my thought processes behind it and stuff like that and kind of just want to see what everyone else is doing as well. So we do Christmas in the sense that Father Christmas brings everything. Now I know again that's a massively, um, you know, can be quite a hot spot of discussion because some people are like, well, we do the stocking and Santa does the main present or vice versa. Um, there's no real massive reason why I do it that Father Christmas brings everything, apart from the fact that's what I had as a child. Um, so I, when you're happy with how your childhood was, which we are and Christmas is like such a magical time for us and such amazing memories, then I think you just continue that with your children. We, um, I don't think there was like a tipping point when I didn't believe. It just kind of happened and I never really questioned it and look, only those that believe, the magic only happens to those that believe, that's what I was told. So. Yeah, so everything comes from Father Christmas. So I think that's really, really important. I'll get onto this bad boy in a minute. Um, but I'll start off with Boo's stocking. Um, I've been buying now since May. Um, I see something, I scroll it away. My uh, drawers have been, you know, my bed bedroom drawers have been besieged by stuff. Uh, one of this is a one of those like mason jar type ones. It's plastic. It's a new look. That was in the sale. That was like two pounds. I'm not, by the way, gonna go through every single price. Two reasons, number one, I um, don't remember them all. Number two, I really don't think price is, in, it's important to have a budget, but I don't think price should be the leading thing. Um, say this costs this or this, that's really not what it's about. So yeah, that was in the sale, but that's really good and she'll love that. Next up, were, so I got her some stickers. These are from Paper Chase, they're like those, cat, um, is it gonna focus? Those cat um, mermaids, and these are just from our local post office. I remember getting things like that from mine. She's got some washi tape. Let's see if it does it. It's not playing today, is it? Yep, some washi tapes. Um, she's got some smiggle bits. Now I've got a love-hate relationship with smiggle. Who loves it, yet I'm, um, I think they can be slightly expensive for what they are. Let's just put it like that. But she's got a few bits, she's got a little snake puzzle, which she will really, really enjoy. Um, this, now she's been asking for slime. So I got that in Tiger. It's a dinosaur in some slime. Yay. Um, tie my shoes. I was out shopping with two of my dear friends and my friend got it for her son to help her tie shoelaces, his shoelaces, and I thought, oh, actually, that's great. I'll um, I'll get one too. It's just little bits. This I think she's going to really like. This is from Smiggle. This is a electric pencil sharpener, which was like everybody wanted these when I was younger. Like the teacher used to invite you up, didn't they? Do you want to come use my sharpener? Just me? Mm, never mind. Um, I don't know if these these should fit in her. That's a Smiggle. It's wrapped in tissue paper, a Smiggle pen pot, it's like a popsicle, um, what's the word, rubber. And she's got one of those elastic bands. Yes, yeah, so she's got that. Um, some Smiggle ballpoint pens in different colours. Is it gonna, it's not playing today. There you go. Problem with vlogmas, you can't spend forever on a post be like a vlog, otherwise they'd never go up. Um, so these aren't really um stocking because they won't fit, but she's just got some that was from a double pack, and I split that and I gave her some for holiday, and I just saved those. That's got crayons, pencils, and felt tips. Um, I think the glare you're getting is because I've got my like house surrounded with candles, and this I really love this, it's just a notebook, flips a heart again from Tiger. Um, was I think one pound fifty, two pounds. There's not like not everything. It's not about the expense. It's about little things that make her happy. This was the first thing I bought for Christmas this year, 
I, I'm, um, I don't let Boo wear heels out. These are like dress ups, so like the click clacks almost. But these are monsoon, they're in the sale. She will love them. They will, they've got the bejeweled at the front. They're, mm, they're stuck to her body. Um, another early thing I got on was we were in Spain and one way around and I got the a little bracelet from Massimo Dutti um, and it's really delicate and I really don't think it's going to work on um, here but I'm going to try. Is it not working? It's me isn't it? It's me being... Oh there you go. It's really pretty, really delicate. And Boo loves anything that's quite like grown up. So that'll be like, oh, I love the bracelet and it's really grown up. Um, so yeah, they're like the small bits. Um, I got her these in the entertainer. She's not a massive Shopkins fan, but she'll love them. Pencil, um, pencils, some coloured ones and some red ones. And now we're getting on to like the bigger, like the, the chunky parcels. This, now, personalised jewellery studio. I think... In fact, I know that I'm going to live to regret this one. It's, yeah, yeah, she's going to bedazzle, bedazzle. Um, yeah, but that was from Costco, actually. Um, I think it was less than 15 with that. Um, and then I have um, actually reorder these. So the works, I think, are great. They've got two for 10 at the moment. So I got her the amazing, glowing, like, lab. It's like your first sort of um, science kit because she does Wizzy Wednesday science um, with her teacher and she loves that. That's like something that's a great talking point for us. So um, I got her that and I got her four to connect. We all know what game that's like, but she's really into games at the moment. Um, I think she's asked my mum for the tooth fairy game, but I think that's someone's a bit eager to lose her teeth because she hasn't yet. Um, I got the Aladdin flying carpet board game. Just, we love Aladdin, that looked really hoop. I've not played it, let me know if you've played it, what's it like? She's got so much Barbie, um, but she's really enjoying school. So I got her the Barbie teacher set, which I thought was quite cute. And it comes with a little one, she hasn't got a little one. Um, and then the Circus Scareground Monster High with Rochelle Goyle. Um, yeah, it's you get her in like the play set. I'm not an expert on Monster High, but she likes it. And I think you guys will have seen this before. Um, we did a review for I'm just trying to work this out for Boohoo, and I decided to keep this back. It's one of those mermaid um, blankets, and I kept that back. I got it in one of her colours. Um, so there are all the bits that she's got to open. And then there's this. So I'm actually going to... This is a Gear for Music Junior Digital Piano. Um, we, it was, I don't know if you can try and show you the size of it. It's quite big. But it requires assembly. Um, which will be fun for Mummy on Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, that arrived this week. Um, Boo started piano lessons on in September, part of her school, and she loves them. I mean, absolutely loves them. So there's um, this, it's a white piano. Um, it's just around shy of one metre wide. I don't play piano, it's one of my biggest regrets. But apparently that's perfect, leave them up to about 10 and it comes with a stool. Um, yeah, it's like the shebang. So I'm gonna build that, put a big bow on it. Now, I know people would think that's a lot, but to be fair, I felt quite bad. It's my responsibility to provide her with the piano if I'm going to do piano lessons. So I've kind of um, got her maybe a slightly nicer one than she needed, of course. She could have just had a box on the piano, uh, like keyboard, and that would have been absolutely fine. But I've kind of incorporated it in. So that's what she's got. Like I said, um, everyone does it differently. We do it all for Father Christmas. Um, for me, I, like children, it's not a value for children. It really is what they open. But also, and this is probably quite unique, maybe to single parents, I'm not sure. But when Boo comes in on Christmas morning, it is just my presents that I've bought, that obviously the Orphan Father Christmas bought. But that's all she sees under the tree. And 
it's not about buying just rubbish or anything, but I mean, I've never stuck to a budget. Um, I've never wanted to spend a ridiculous amount of money, but I've never stuck and said, well, you know, I'm at uh, 50 pounds or 60 or 100 or whatever that, you know, people do, and then that works great for them. But I've never done that because I, I think it's a, it's, it's a bit trickier to be so definite when you're a single parent because you want to make sure they have that magic of Christmas. And magic isn't a thousand presents under the tree. That's important as well. And I also say to Brie, like, she put a piano on her Christmas list, but she says, well, I don't think I'll get it till I'm seven or eight, mummy, because it's it's too big. And that's really sweet. That, like, that really melted my heart. Um, so, yeah, it's I think it's a, a tricky one because she goes to her dad normally on the 27th, so then she has Christmas with her dad. Um, and then my mum brings over the sack that Santa has brought to her house. And she brings it over on the Christmas day. Well, this year it'll be later on on the Christmas um, day. But yeah, so that's our present. Have you got the same things for your kids? Or have you got something different? I've kind of not gone for the must-have toys because she hasn't asked. Um, and if I can avoid pester power for as long as possible, I will. Thank you so much for watching. I think after yesterday's difficulties with Vlogmas, I'm being like I'm back on track, hence the nighttime video. Um, but I thought you guys would just, you know, rather I keep on track. Yep, thanks massively for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Um, yep, yeah, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow, actually. I've got a list, I just actually need to order it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.